Back in 1995, I'd started homebrewing, and I was at a homebrew party, and somebody asked me if I wanted to try a sizer. I'd never had a sizer before, but I didn't want to embarrass myself and say that, so I passed my glass over. If you've ever seen a little baby try something it loves for the first time, you see the eyes light right up with a big smile. Well, that was my reaction. I looked at this gentleman, and I said, what is that? He said, an apple mead. I'm like, okay, what's mead? He said, a wine made from honey. Well, I went home the next day, and I started making a couple batches. And by 2006, I was president of the largest homebrew club here in New Hampshire, Brew for Your Die. And at their holiday party, I realized that when I pulled out a bottle of beer, it was my buddies hanging around. I pulled out a bottle of mead that I was making. Every woman in the room was knocking somebody over. So when I started this company, nobody was doing what I considered trying to make mead a category of beverage. Everybody was making like one or two different styles, maybe three or four. Uh, we make over 70. Apparently, I make a lot of different varieties because um, I like choices. We have dry, we have semi-sweet, we have sweet. We have some with uh, spices, some with fruit, some with fruit and spice. So the varietals of honey that we use um, differ quite a bit. We use orange blossom for a lot of the meads that we make with spices because we like the um, citrus note that you get from the orange blossom honey. We use a lot of wildflower honey for um, meads that we make that have a lot of fruit in them. Honey wines really offer a further enjoyment of the food because think of how a chef can work with honey. Honey goes with everything. Well, honey wines can go with everything as well, whether it's spices, whether it's non-spicy. Uh, we have some that goes with um, chocolate. We have some that go with cheeses. Uh, one that goes really well with like a big steak or bison uh, burger or something. So a lot of, a lot of flavor and, you know, I'm a man that enjoys food, so I want to enjoy my wine with my food. Uh, our Kurtz apple pie is our number one bestseller. So it's made with fresh pressed apple cider. Uh, we get the cider into the shop the day it's pressed. We blend that with honey at a, at a ratio of like 25% honey, 75% cider. After fermentation, we add Vietnamese cinnamon and Madagascar bourbon and vanilla beans to it. And it comes out tasting just like apple pie. The biggest misperception of, of people that come through the door here is that Mead, they think mead is going to be super sweet. It's going to be so thick, it's almost going to have viscosity to it. Mead is the oldest fermented beverage. It's, it, history's never tasted so good. You know, you have to try what's being made today, and just because you find one you may not like, that doesn't mean you give up on the category. Mm -hmm.